Hey guys, what's up? It's Robbie with Battlefield HQ, and yes, we are diving back into Battlefield 1. Cannot wait for this one, but we're talking about a very fascinating subject today, and that is the lack of assault rifles, because, you know, historically with Battlefield games, we have seen assault rifles in the game. We're going to talk about how this actually will influence the gameplay mechanics, plus we're going to talk about the map size, because there was some interesting information recently revealed from fellow Battlefield YouTubers, so let's dive in. So as you may know, the classes for Battlefield 5 have all been confirmed. We have the Assault class, we have the Medic, Scout, and Support, and then we have uh, the Vehicular classes, which is going to be your Pilot and your Tank Operator. Now, these classes will offer a wide variety of weapons, still from light machine guns, to semi-automatic rifles and, of course, sniper rifles. And I imagine you would get pistols as your sidearm and that sort of thing. Now, you'll notice that the assault class is rocking the SMG, but they are not using assault rifles this time around. This is going to be making for some very, very intense close quarters gameplay in Battlefield 1 and across Battlefield 1's maps, which will include locations from Italy, Africa, and even the Arabian Desert. They will be supporting 64 players, if you're wondering, but from the YouTubers that have played the game, the game feels more similar to Bad Company 2 than Battlefield 4, as the maps are not really all-out sniper maps. They don't support that type of warfare, it seems. Now, for anyone that has gotten their hands on Battlefield 1, you lucky SOBs, uh, the game will have a very different flavor of gameplay in many regards. It sounds like you'll be seeing some opportunity to go long range, of course. That's still uh, very much a Battlefield thing to do. But thankfully, the game will allow you to dive into the trenches where SMGs will be getting more use. Of course, SMGs are going to be more uh, very, very close ranged warfare. It's not going to be something that's supported you know, medium to long range, because the assault rifles will be missing in action, meaning engaging in long distance with your automatic weapon might not be the most plausible thing to do, so you're going to want to immediately dive into those trenches, into anywhere where there's cover, and try to get as close as possible to the enemy while your friendlies are suppressing the enemy with light machine gun fire. So that's something you will be seeing in the game is this suppression from light machine guns. I imagine that's going to be a very popular thing to do in uh, Battlefield 1 is taking to the top of the trenches and really trying to keep the enemy's heads down. Now, artillery and mortar fire will be a big deal to getting those SMG users out of the trenches as well as gas. So if you're worried about campers, don't worry too much. There will be a way to get them out of those trenches. And once you and your squad have made sure that they are out of the trenches and in a total panic with their SMGs, which probably won't be able to reach you, you can use your semi-automatic rifle to take them on, get some headshots, and take out your foes. Now, this, of course, will encourage players to get up close and personal in those trenches, which supports the new melee combat system that offers its own set of weapons. So... If you want to be a sniper, be prepared to be rushed by some crazed soldiers looking to get as close as possible to you. It just means that moving fast on the battlefield will be extremely important to players. And you know, I think that this frenetic type warfare will be great for those smaller game modes that we should be hearing about shortly, especially for esports and uh, the more competitive play. But guys, tell me what you think about the lack of assault rifles does that make you panic? Do you like the fact that the gameplay seems to be kind of divided into this close quarters gameplay and trying to rush the enemy? I can't wait to play it. I honestly think that it's really cool to hear that it feels a lot like Bad Company 2. In Bad Company 2, I remember there were so many opportunities to take cover and to really play the game uh, how you wanted to play it. Battlefield 4, of course, supported more open maps where snipers were more aware and sniping was more of a possibility. I imagine sniping will be still a possibility. You'll still have those lines of sight, uh, but it's good to hear that there's a lot more cover this time around. Thanks guys for watching. Leave a comment down below. Curious to see what you guys have to say about this one, and I will see you guys later and soon enough on the battlefield.